developers and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be uh, walking through some of the katas in Code Wars website. We're going to be uh, performing some katas of Ryuku 8, 7, 6, and 5 so that you can have a general idea of how the difficulty is increased by each new uh, each, each time that you lower a kata level. So let's get started. Just created this Cold Wars folder. There's nothing in it. So the first kata that we'll be doing is will be like a kata from Ryuku 8. You should go here. Then you're going to choose Ryuku 8. And then we're going to be doing like this this one here, which is a pretty easy one. This Ryuku, Ryuku 8 and 7, they are the most easy easiest ones. So probably just have to do, use some uh, already defined function in some of the Elixir libraries. So to do that, you see, we just need to an empty array should sum zero. And once you, we sum this this value here, we probably just like in them that sum would solve our problem. So it's like, it's a good way that you should like do something like this locally. So if you put like uh, array, what's the name of the kata? Some array, so some arrays dot yx, we can then create a module here and the name of the, the module is sum. So let's just create a function that should be sum. We're going to be receiving an array and probably just need to call an enum dot sum array. That's probably pretty much everything that we need to be doing. Let's create an alter a file for testing. So mod. Let me grab the boilerplate from this thing here. Let's paste it, remove this thing. Let's put it here. Some array. So this would be I don't know how we call it, some array, so some arrays, whoops, dot sum. Passing like an empty array, this should be zero. And if we do the same thing with like one, two point three, and four it should be six point five, seven point three. 7.3. And if we run this test here, it's passing. So probably our implementation is correct. We just need to paste this code there. So let's put it here. Enum dot sum numbers. Oops. Numbers. And if we, then we can run the test here. Everything passed. We then can finally attempt. In this attempt, it will execute some tests that are not listed here. We can then submit. And the nice thing about Code Wars is that after you submit a solution, you can see how the community solved this, this problem. You see, it's pretty much on what we did. Like the for easiest ones, like <laughs> it's no uh, big deal, but from, from the hardest it gets, you have like you get some really interesting solutions. The one from the Ryuko 5. Uh, my solution was like pretty big, but the one that I found out which was pretty clever, I'm gonna show you soon enough. So let's go for the second, let's go for the second kata. Okay, and the second one is the, let's go for the Rook 7. And we can then grab, let's, let's go for popularity and let's do this follow account, which is actually, I already tried once. So I can try again. Uh, we can then go back here, so we can create another file called volo count dot x. We can then type mod and create a module. We can grab the function function which is this one here. Grab and paste. Okay, it's here. Uh, we can create a test file. Probably we can just copy as well. Whoops, the same thing that we have here. So here. Um, so if we run our code here and return like, let's return zero to make sure that this thing's properly testing. We, we expected five and we got zero. So what we can do to implement this algorithm. So this would be a string, right? We can then probably get it's graphemes so of string dot 
graphemes. These return all the graphemes, and we can then do a num dot count. Get a passive function. And x as long as x in. We can then pass all the variables there, all the vowels. I think don't know if we are counting y or not. No. So just a e i when you so a. Oops. And then t -t 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 -t. I think this is everything that we need, probably. Yep, yep, it worked. We can then maybe refactor this, put this into a module variable. That's good enough for just this video. So let's grab this thing here. And let's paste it there. Oops. We can then try to test this. Yeah, these are, this one are actually pretty easy. Uh, the next one that we do, then we might find some problems with it. So, submitting, and I'm recording it, right? Yes, I am. So, yeah, they did basically the same thing that we did. Like, regex, but like, this is the general structure. There's nothing much clever to do about this. Now, if you go to the Ryuku 6, we might find something interesting. Uh, Let's grab this one, which is already did in the past, so that we have much problem with it. Uh, if I recall correctly, I it was just generating numbers and filtering them. So multiples of three and five, you can need to sum of them. So like if you go from zero, from one to ten, we so we're gonna generate like three, five, six, and nine. Yeah. So these are the ones here, and we need to sum the, these these multiples. So Solution is this one. It, I think it's fairly easy as well. So let's go back to to our. Let me close this thing. Let's create another one. So what's the name of that? It is uh, multiples of three and five. So we can go back here. It's called multiples of three five dot x. That's good enough mod we can then grab the function there which is solution okay generic name whoops for the moment let's just return zero we can then create the alternative file over here okay so we just need to grab this thing here actually i'm just gonna grab this part mod Okay, challenge actually this should not be challenge, but this should be mode chip three five get solution. I think we're we're fine. And if we try to run this, we received zero and we're expected twenty three. This is also actually as well not as difficult. We just need to generate all the numbers. So one two number. And we basically need to filter those numbers and sum them. So num.filter x x. I think it's mod. I never I never recall what the how to use mod in Elixir. So ix just ix fine. I think it was kernel mod. No, which was mod. Two four. I never know which you, which is the function for mod. Uh, let's search for it. Which is the function for mod? Elixir mod. It's, for, it's rem rem. So okay. Kernel. It's rem. Let's do rem two four. So four two. Yeah, so rem like the biggest number with, and then when we are dividing, so it will be rem um, x. 
three equals equals zero and rem x five equals equals zero and I think we generate all the numbers and what's for the problem here? Rem. Maybe this thing. Yeah, so once we, we can filter all of those that are divided by three and five, it's three and five or three or five? It's three or five. So maybe we can try to do like dash s mix. If we try on the console, so multiply four dot solutions, and if we type 10, we got a little three, five, yep. Mm -hmm. I think we, on you know, there we saw that it was from Q9, right? So uh, 10 and 10 is not there. So a number minus one, okay. So if you go here, we should, we should generate few number minus one. So recompile and do this. Yeah, now we have the numbers and we just need to sum them. I believe that's everything. Compile and it should be 23. Yeah, if we run our test, it should be fine. Yep, it is fine. So we can close the terminal here. That's probably the solution for this. Whoops, I got out from the. So it was the, which was a, this one here. So I just need to grab this thing. Go back here and paste it. And then test. I think this should be pretty fine. And the last one is is, is the one from Rook 5, which is which is where we you start to see some interesting things. And I want to show you one from parentheses that my solution was like pretty big, but the one that I got there was like awesome. Uh, I think it's, it was the parentheses. I think if you go for popularity, it's it's easier to find popularity and elixir. Yeah, this one here. So we basically need to validate this thing here. <laughs> My solution was like iterating through the string, validating, counting, summing and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the solution that I found for this for this kata here was like pretty awesome. Let's create like another file here. So validate paren. I never know how we call parentheses. Parent with th. Parent this is dot ex. Okay, mod. And let's grab the name of the function, which is this one here. Oops. Okay, I did some problem, did some shit. Now let me grab it once again. Maybe I got something wrong. Okay, so we have our function here and we need to create our, so let's return like false for the moment. Let's create our, our, our test. So mod and for the test, let's grab this thing here. Okay. Actually, this should be the valley, the parentheses, that's fine. And if you run our test, you should get a fail test. And the nice thing that I found here was like, was this, uh, we had this string, which is already there. We can then pass to regex.compile. Actually, we found the bang. And this should we return like okay or false. Or K or error, I can show you this on the terminal. So if we do regex dot compile and we pass like something like with an invalid one, so you see two open in parentheses but just one closing, we see that we we got the error. But if we pass like this, we got the one okay. Don't know if that was your your first uh, approach to this problem, but mine was like iterating through and doing a lot of stuff. Once I got this solution, it was like pretty awesome. So then we just need to 
case this thing here. Whoops, what happened? Okay, something wrong happened. Case to end. And if we receive like, uh, okay, something, which we're not gonna be using, we will return true. And if we receive, whoops, error, other, we're just gonna be returning false. And that's pretty much how we're gonna validate our parentheses. If you run this thing here, you should see that our tests are fine. So we just need to grab the solution. And paste it there. And then we can let you run our, our code and we can attempt. Like from the Ryuko 5, I think it's from Ryuko 6 and 5, you might find some problems with timeouts and you can find some pretty nice solutions from the other members of the community. I may think like uh, Code Wars helped me a lot and get better in Elixir programmer. I think we might in the future do some, some Ryukos of, of uh, Ryuko 4, maybe 3. I, I never did one with 3, I think it's pretty hard, but 4 I did one. It was like something of, of directions, if I'm not mistaken. But that was it for this episode. I hope you like it. Probably we're going to be doing some for Hacker Hank as well in the future. So that you, because Hacker Hank is a, is a website that many of the companies are using for uh, interview tests. And I think it's pretty nice for you to take a look at those, mainly on the one regarding mathematics and maybe the ones with like functional programming and, and some OTP stuff. Well, that's it. that was it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And until next time, bye.